What is Superfin? Well, let's get into that. So Intel held its Architecture Day 2020 for the press on August 11th and revealed quite a few technology innovations, but the star of the show of their architecture fans is the company's Superfin process enhancement. Now, Intel did joke about their plus, 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 plus improvements on 14 nanometer and revealed a new FinFAT type for 10 nanometer called Superfin, which allows them to gain several pluses worth of improvements in a single go. Now, according to Intel and the benchmarks they provided, the improvement in performance is roughly equal to one node shrink. So Intel's 10 nanometer has gained quite a reputation for being broken, but it looks like the company has not only managed to fix the problems that originated with the 10 nanometer process, but improve it with several iterations worth of a performance uplift in a single round. So a single plus iteration previously gave a performance uplift of around 5%, but with 10 nanometer super fin enhancement, the intra node performance uplift is roughly 17.5%. 5% when compared to vanilla 10 nanometer that is. Now before we go any further, here's an introduction to Intel's 10 nanometer super fin from Ruth Bryan herself. We are redefining the fin fet to deliver an unprecedented level of performance uplift. We achieve this through a combination of innovations across the entire process stack from the bottom of the transistor channel all the way to the top interconnect metal layers. Within the transistor, we improved epitaxial growth of crystal structures on the source and drain, increasing the strain and reducing resistance. It allowed more current to flow through the channel, and we had to enhance a source drain architecture driving additional higher channel mobility and enabling charge carriers to move more quickly. Additionally, we had a gate pitch that we've included to provide higher drive currents for certain chip functions that require the utmost performance. Moving up to the metal stack with a thin barrier reduces via resistance by up to 30%, enhancing interconnect performance. The final innovation is a new Super MIM metal insulator metal capacitor. When compared to the industry standard, it delivers a 5x increase in the capacitance within the same footprint driving a voltage reduction that translates to dramatically improved product performance. This is an industry first technology that far exceeds the current capabilities of other manufacturers. This innovation is enabled by a new class of high K dielectric materials stacking ultra thin layers just several anstagrams thick to form a repeating super lattice structure. The combination power of these innovations enable us to deliver a dramatic process performance boost that makes the single largest node enhancement of Intel history. In one single internode enhancement, we delivered essentially the same level of performance achieved over multiple steps at 14 nanometer and nearly the equivalent performance of a full node transition. This process boost will take Intel products to new levels in 2020 and beyond. Of course, that was me talking, so she doesn't quite sound like that. But here's some interesting tidbits about Intel's Superfin transistor. First off, Intel's Superfin transistor was first developed when trying to fix 10 nanometer and was initially named 10 nanometer plus. Intel realized, however, that since the previous plus iterations had only achieved one third of the performance uplift, this was better served with its own proper name. Now, Intel's Tiger Lake process is based on Superfin technology and are able to achieve astonishingly high clock rates for a 10 nanometer chip. You can read more about that in our deep dive over here on the website. It'll be linked down below. Now, Intel's Ice Lake processors are based on vanilla 10 nanometer and not Superfin. And lastly, the company is also working on Superfin enhancements, but not named them yet. To prove its point, Intel showed benchmarks with all of the plus iterations of 14 nanometer detailed. Each plus got roughly 5% improvement compared to the previous node. Now, Intel's 10 nanometer Superfin, on the other hand, achieves more than three times that amount in a single round again. And that's not all. Intel's already working on a Superfin enhanced transistor. Well, unfortunately, that one doesn't have a name yet. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.